Rummel and head coach Troy Holly, the early story of the Catholic League, off to a 3-0 league mark, but facing a Brother Martin team, they had lost to on the hardwood 14 straight times. Crusaders in transition, Jordan Cornish with the layup, Brother Martin led 22-18. Crusaders playing the tough half-court D. Jared West with the steal at midcourt. He's going to take it the distance for the layup. West was not the only Catholic League running back on display. How about Rummel's Keith Fulton? The senior with the impressive move off the glass. Rummel within six at 26 to 20. Later, off the Raiders miss, how about Caleb Burks, the 6'2 junior with the sweet putback. It's a 28-24 game. Second half now, another star off the back-to-back -back state championship Rumble football team. That's wide receiver Steven Dunbar with the nice little turnaround, Jay. Two of his 15 on the night. Brother Martin, big man Logan Mancuso, 6'8", working the low block, turnaround kiss off the glass, working it like a big man does. Want to know why Rummel is off to a 3-0 league start? Plays like this. Trey Harris, hustling back on D, causes the turnover and saves his own steal. And here comes the Raiders point guard. In traffic, he's going to go with the left hand and gets the layup to fall. 18 points for Harris, it's 34-28, Brother Martin. But another big night for Cornish. Explosive first step, goes lefty softly off the glass. Next possession, Cornish shows the perimeter game as well. Quick little stop and pop, part of a 30-point night for the Tennessee-bound senior. On this night, though, Rummel would just hang around all night. Another guy with a couple of state championship football rings. How about safety Dwayne Eugene? Knocks down a triple, and Brother Martin's lead is cut to 52-50. to On this night, too much Brother Martin. West with the drive and one. He finished with 10 points. Crusaders hit their free throws down the stretch, and a game that was moved up a day to beat the winner's storm goes to Brother Martin, 75-66. That's a huge win for us. We're not going to lie, the, our backs were against the wall, and uh, the boys need to come out and fight tonight. And there's a lot of areas we still need to clean up, you know, um, but honestly, we weren't even prepared to play tonight. Um, but we came out, we fought hard, we came out, set a tone early on that we're going to play hard defensively. You know, um, like I said, some things offensively we need to clean up, but the effort was there. You don't want to make excuses for, for, for losing a game. I mean, moving the game, we, both, we were both in the same boat. Um, it, it hurt our preparation, but at the same time, it hurt their preparation. I think that uh, I think that if we would have if we would have played our regular defense and we would have been we would have stepped up to the challenge, we would have been fine. But we uh, we picked a bad night not to play well defensively. Starting three and O's first time has happened at Rome in a long time, but it really doesn't mean anything if we don't finish out strong. We have a great group of kids. The reason we wore three and is because they work really hard, they're competitors, they're great guys, and if we play our style of ball, we can continue to win. But this is a tough league, you gotta come play every night, you can't have a bad night or you'll lose. From Conlin Jim, I'm Eric Ritchie for NolaCatholicLeague.com.